Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning at about 10 a.m. Well, just before 10 a.m. And I'm driving to meet my friend Bailey for brunch. I met her on Instagram probably like four years ago or so. And we haven't actually met in person yet. Um, we've been talking about this forever. And so we're finally gonna meet up. So we're gonna go get some brunch. I'm driving to Venice and we're gonna take a little walk along the beach, maybe get a mimosa if we're feeling fancy. And it's gonna be great. But um, yeah, we got back on Saturday night from Arizona we drove back and it took about five hours it was really fast we just like spur of the moment decided we we're supposed to leave Sunday morning and we were like let's leave Saturday night instead so we left Saturday night got home around like 11 and then the time changed so it was very confusing all right I'm gonna go meet Bailey for brunchies now and we will talk in a bit we're gonna catch up and take a nice little beach walk so let's do it making her YouTube debut. Woo! Cheers, <laughs> happy Monday. <laughs> yes, please. I have a nice little mimosa and a breakfast sandwich. Bailey has a breakfast burrito and a little spritz. You do <laughs> It is now the next day, it's Tuesday, and I'm just getting ready to film a main channel video, and I realized I totally forgot to like pick this vlog back up yesterday. I had such a good time with Bailey. She's just such a lovely gal. She's like a light. She is so positive and also really real at the same time, and I enjoyed meeting her so much. Um, I knew I would, and sometimes when I go to like meet people that I've been friends with online for a long time and like meet them in person, I feel like really nervous and just like, what if they're not the same as they portray themselves to be online or what if they don't think I'm the same or whatever, like I'm always in my head about it. I did not feel that way at all with her like I was just immediately comfortable so yeah if you are on the hunt for someone who shares a little bit about like life motherhood body stuff and just like a very real journey and someone being their authentic self I would definitely recommend following her I'll link her Instagram down in the description but yeah love that girl we can't wait to hang out again and now the real work week begins I literally came home from our meeting yesterday I think I got home at like one o'clock from our little girls hang and I immediately dove into editing and I think I edited until like 9 p.m. Um, I just had like a lot to do. It worked out, I got all my work done, but now I'm in my little office and things are kind of a mess. I set up my, finally, my two like studio lights right here that I've had forever that I haven't been able to plug in in here because that outlet was broken forever for literally the last almost two years. And I just like never got around to asking my landlord to get it fixed. So we did that a couple months ago. I've had my computer in here, which has made a huge difference and now I have the lights. So that's very exciting. And then we have this pile of clothes on the floor because that is a haul that I'm gonna film a little thrift haul a few vlogs ago I showed like a couple Poshmark things that I had gotten so I'm going to include those in this haul because I just love online thrifting I just love thrifting in general got my what is this is this Oscar the Grouch no. Who is this? Gonzo? Who has this color sweater? Cookie Monster? Anyway. And then I've got to film a little piece for a viral products video and then thrift haul and then some Instagram stuff. So we'll see how much we get done today. I am going to meet my friend at her house around 6.30 and then she has somewhere to be at like 9.45 p.m. So I'll be home by like 9.30. So we have a lot to do before then and it's already been a busy morning as it is. Just a lot of like paperwork and annoying stuff. Tax season is coming up, which is my worst thing as a self-employed person but I mean listen I'm blessed in every other area so I can't complain I am clearly putting off doing this so let's get started let's do some filming and then we will catch up later all right it's a couple hours later finished lunch oh my god isn't the lighting in here so much nicer since I turned those lights on that's kind of incredible I finished lunch and did a quick change threw my hair up in a clock clip and we're gonna keep it moving we're gonna film the next video um I also wanted to show an eye update for those of you who are curious um which is no one but I <laughs> have never gone through this before it was so weird so I thought I would show you so if you're weird about eye stuff I'm so sorry please 
you know, fast forward like 10 seconds. But here is, for those of you that are curious and nosy like me and, you know, want to see the nitty gritty details, here it is. So here is what my eye is looking like. I gave you a chance. I gave you a chance to, to click away. So here it is after, uh, after what, like yeah, seven days, eight days? It's been eight days since I discovered it. So, I mean... Still pretty gnarly. It's definitely, it started as like a little dot. It moved its way down to the very top of my iris, I think it's called, and it's kind of stayed there. It's kind of dissipating from the top. So I have a feeling it's just gonna, over the course of the next few days, go away. It's kind of frustrating when your job is on to be on camera um, to have that, but as long as I don't like do that, <laughs> then I should be okay, um, but it is a little scary. I, I used to see people have that happen to them and be like, ew, <laughs> like that's so scary and kind of gross. And then it happened to me. So that's what's going on with that. That's the eye update. Okay, I'm gonna shut up, bye. Okay, it's a little while later, got my filming done. And now I have about three hours, I think, until I have to leave to go to Laura's tonight. I'm gonna do as much editing as I possibly can in the meantime. I'm just a little bit behind in this video, I think. I mean, I would ideally love for it to go up tomorrow, but we'll see what ends up happening with that. But I'm back in my comfies, got my leggings on, got my sweatshirt on. I've been wearing this sweatshirt like nonstop since I got it, it's so comfortable. And we're gonna try to knock out as much work as possible. I'm gonna try to focus, we'll see what happens. And then it's time for a nice little wholesome girls night, so let's do it. All right, we are wrapping up. The, oh my God, I thought that said no, it was 9.06 and I was very confused, but it's the timer. <laughs> <laughs> we are just wrapping up work because I'm kind of running out of time so I'm gonna have to get up early tomorrow and do some of that um we're making some dinner just a nice quick easy dinner just basically like chicken rice and broccoli a variation of that except the the rice is a broccoli cheddar rice so it sounds pretty good and um just gonna make a quick dinner it's a little bit early it's only like five o'clock but I'm going to my friends at six and I'm probably not gonna eat dinner while I'm there. So we're gonna have some dinner now, plus we wanna eat this food. And we've got a couple of our lamps set up in the kitchen. We moved things around because our final lamp that we were waiting for came in and it's so cool. I love it. It's from Amazon. I'll link it in my storefront thingy. Um, Cause look at this thing. It has a remote. It's the best. You can change like the warmth and the brightness and all that kind of stuff. We did have to use Google Translate on how to program this remote because all the instructions were in Chinese, but oh my God, it's the coolest lamp ever. So we moved the one that was over here on this table to the kitchen, because why not? And it's so cool in here. So there we have it, our little kitchen orb. And then we have this portable one that I just like love taking around with me. I feel like it really sets the vibe. So here we've got our broccoli cheddar rice going. Drew's seasoning our chicken and then we've got to steam our broccoli and then I'm just gonna put it in a bowl and probably put balsamic glaze on top and call it a day. Happy, happy, happy. <laughs> All right, it's not perfect, but it'll do. It'll get the job done. Dinner time. It is the next day again. It is currently 12.23 and I am in fact still in my pajamas. I don't wanna talk about it. No, I've just been doing computer work all day. Instead of getting up and doing my workout, I had a lot of stuff that I needed to catch up on. So I did that and I'm getting ready to go to a hair appointment. I'm getting a consultation for hair extensions again, but I think I might be going to a better place this time no shade to the person who did my hair last time I just don't know if it was like the best um, so I'm still deciding if I want to get extensions because basically here's my dilemma over the last two years I've put my hair through the ringer so at the beginning of 2022 I dyed my hair red 
and then I dyed it red again and then I dyed it red again and then I went back to blonde pretty much immediately and that caused like such bad damage to my hair and then I started going towards like my natural color a more like dark blonde bronze whatever you call it light brunette at the I guess end of 2022 to the beginning of last year and then last March I went blonde again and I did do like a red mask but it just washed out on its own um anyways I cut my hair like a year ago let it grow a little bit cut it even more and now I'm like just getting impatient and I think I'm gonna start veering back towards my natural hair color maybe possibly um I really loved my hair during the pandemic when I just put like a toner over it and I just sort of let it grow and then I did like a balayage type of thing but then I got really just like I was craving that really bright blonde again so anyway we'll see what ends up happening but my hair is really healthy now like it's in a good place so I just want to go to like a professional so this is a person that I've seen a lot of like influencers go to and stuff and it seems like this person is like an expert in extensions so I'm gonna like go just get her opinion sort of see what she recommends and wants me to do because I really just miss having like my long hair so I don't know we'll see about that but in the meantime I'm gonna open up this package that I, ooh, that I ordered from anthropology anthropology has so much cute stuff and I will say this is definitely influenced by Instagram I see so many cute girlies sharing their really cute outfits so okay interesting and they do have plus sizes so this is like a really cute little pair of shorts i don't think these are gonna be long enough to like walk around in definitely not like chafe proof but they're so cute that i'm like is it worth having to carry around the mega babe like thigh chafing stuff all day i don't know i am gonna try these on just really quick and maybe style them with like a little outfit and see if i want to wear them because i don't know how they're gonna fit so let's try it out i got them in a 1x I'll link them down below in case you're interested, but like how cute are these little shorts with like some cowboy boots and a little cardigan? I'm sorry, it's the cutest outfit ever. So let's let's try it, let's see how it goes. Okay, I still have to put earrings on and like brush my hair out, but it is giving pajamas a little bit and they are like a little bit big, but I think I like that. I think I'm obsessed with this. I don't know how I feel about this exact sweater with it, but I definitely think I'm gonna hang on to them. I can't wear it right now because I'm on my period and I'm wearing like not the correct underwear, but how cute are these? Stop, I love. Let me turn on one of these lights so you can see a little better. Maybe that'll help. Hello? That is so cute. I'm so excited, okay, love. And then you can wear it with like just a t-shirt too if you wanted or like something tied around the waist. I love these. If you ever have questions about things that I'm wearing and wanna know where something is from, definitely check always in the description at my like LTK shop. That's where I link most of the things that I'm wearing. But wow, what a freaking success. We're not gonna talk about this pile of clothes from when I filmed yesterday. We are not going to talk about that. But anyways, I'm gonna get dressed and then we're gonna head over to the salon, get my little consultation out of the way, and then I think I might take myself on a nice little hot girl walk because it is absolutely beautiful today. It's like 69 degrees and sunny and perfect. All right, got myself ready. This is uh, not much dressier, but it's just comfortable and cute. I got this free people set again from something I saw on Instagram. It only goes up to an extra large. It's a bit snug on the waist, but it is so cute. I'm obsessed with this. I've been looking for like a sweater set and how cute. So I got it with these little cowboy boots, my black glasses from, what is it called again? I buy direct, I always forget. All my glasses are always linked down below as well. And some silver hoops. So let's go get a consultation about this hair and see what we can do about it. All right, I am already home. That was very quick and easy. I want to say that appointment was like 15 minutes and it was so great. She was really sweet. And I do think, I think I forgot to mention this, but my hairstylist is on maternity leave. So I got to find a new hairstylist anyways, but um, I'm trying to transition into more of a low maintenance hair situation. Like I want to go quarterly to get my hair done. Typically I've been going every like six to eight weeks. I want to push that to like 12 if possible, maybe even later as I go on down the line. But she did say that I can still maintain, it's, you have to go Go to the right professional i can still maintain the integrity of my hair and like the health of my hair with extensions i just obviously have to take good care of them and stuff so i do think 
I'm gonna try it out. It is very expensive, so I didn't book my appointment yet or anything. I gotta think about it, but I'm thinking that might need to happen. I'm very excited about it. So anyway, I am just gathering a couple of tax documents that I need to scan, as well as paying a ticket for, well, not a ticket. Well, is this a ticket? It's basically a notice of toll evasion. I went on the toll roads, Drew and I went on them, and I totally forgot to pay the thing. So I mean, I have to pay like $8, it's fine. So I'm gonna pay that right now. I am going to scan these documents. I actually have to submit all of my tax stuff to my tax guy today is like the day that I've got to figure it out. And then I think Drew and I might go walk and get some chips and salsa and like a margarita or something. That just sounds great. This day is way too beautiful to not enjoy it. So I don't know if I'm gonna walk before that or after that or when, but I am gonna get in some movement at some point today. And yeah, I just feel excited. I feel like, you know, I'm gonna think about it a little bit longer. Definitely don't be shy. Let me know your experience with extensions down below. I didn't love the tape-ins, but if you've tried the K-tip extensions, let me know your thoughts, cause I think I wanna try it. Oh.